Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ahine Otter and I'm live here at IREP International Documentary Film Festival. This festival is aimed at celebrating documentary films from Africa that celebrate African content. At least 30 documentary films will be screened during the course of this festival and over 70 filmmakers and young aspiring filmmakers will be trained during the course of this festival. It's going to be educative, informative and of course mind-blowing because the documentary films that are going to screen during these festivals are definitely mind-blowing and trust Afro Revel TV to bring you all the highlights that will go on during the course of this festival. My name is Ahine Otter. Stay tuned and keep watching Afro Revel TV. I have lots of questions to ask you, but first of all, you focus on documentary movies. Why? Well, I'm relatively new to filmmaking. I only came into filmmaking in 2015. And before that, I've always been a storyteller. I've always written about social cultural issues. Um, I spent a lot of my life in the UK. So as a Nigerian abroad, I was always reporting about what happens to Nigerians in diaspora, the things that affect, affect our lives. So when I decided to become a filmmaker, it made sense to me to kind of continue the storytelling along those lines of true stories you know, the, from the same perspective, but this time in a visual format. So far so good, do you think there is a difference with the way you make documentary over there and the way we do ours? right here in Africa? Well, the ba from what I know, um, the, uh, we, we have a culture of what they call independent filmmaking in the U.S. where you're responsible for doing your own um, fundraising and you make your piece and you edit and then you try to sell it to a distributor. Um, and over here, it's, it seems like you might be uh, in a position where you have more options as far as broadcast the sort of TV networks you can get on. In the US, it's, it's fairly limited, but it's now changing because there's so many more platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime. So that's been a real boon for American filmmakers. And over here, I'm not so familiar with the platforms, but I know that it's, if it's not here already, it's gonna be here in a big way. Do you think um, Nigerians, Africans are embracing the non-fictional films as much as they, they do with the fictional movies? You know, it will be a gradual process. Uh, we have to ride on the back of Nollywood. Now people, at least now, you know, we want people back to watching television and watching film. So now that they are watching film and watching, gradually we start to introduce stories through, um, through documentary to them. Well, we're saying that when you watch a documentary film, you have read a book. And it's so difficult to read book nowadays, so, but you can watch film. And when you watch film, you can ask questions. That's why we're so impressed with the kind of questions that young people were asking in the hall. We're always, always elated that the whole festival is being run by young people for the last three years. So do you think there's a balance between non-fictional um, films and fic fictional films in Africa? Definitely not a balance. Um, we have more of the fictional films, you know, in Africa. We have so much, we are graduate storytellers. We have so much to tell. But we have a lot of materials for, for non-fiction that's not been explored. But it, documentaries are meant actually to deal with that. You know, so I mean, uh, it's growing. So far so good with your experience in Nigeria and with Nigerians and with the filmmakers. Do you think there's a difference with the way um, documentary is done over the country and the way we do it down here in Africa? Well, I think in Nigeria, the way I see it is that all the energy recently has been in fiction. And then I think what IREP is trying to do is get some of that energy and say, look, there are other ways of making films. This is what Femi is trying to do, which I really support. It's very interesting. So there's been so much success with the fiction films, but now can we tell stories in documentary? And if you tell stories in documentary, do you tell different stories? Are there different realities that you can show? And I think even the film we saw last night, Skin, which is about skin lightening, it's about a real issue, very personal issue. So that was very enlightening to see that. And so I think documentary holds that open.